If you've ever wanted to adventure through randomly generated dungeons, finding treasure, fighting monsters, collecting monster parts and other craftable items, and then selling said items in your very own shop, then Moonlighter is for you. Because that is what the game is all about. Well, that and getting the blacksmith to craft you better weapons and armor, upgrading the town in your shop and trying to make it to the fifth door like your father tried to do, but mostly you'll be entering dungeons and selling your booty. Now, selling your booty as in treasure, not as in starting an OnlyFans and selling pictures of your rusty sheriff's badge. <clears throat> The story of Moonlighter follows a young shopkeeper that has a shop called Moonlighter. You will travel through dungeons, fighting monsters and bosses, avoiding traps and pitfalls, and then either filling up your backpack and returning to your shop to sell the goods, or fighting to the end of the dungeon, which although then will unlock the next dungeon and yield some more great re rewards, it does run the risk of you getting bitch slapped and losing all of the goods. The only goods or items you'll keep are what's on your person. You have like five slots for that but anything else in, that is in your backpack will be gone forever. Risk and reward style. Yeah, baby. The combat I did find actually to be quite challenging with a host of different enemy types with different attacks, different weapons to use like short sword and shield, broadsword, bow, spear, etc. Uh, obviously, you know, all can be upgraded. Um, and like I said, the, the combat... Is challenging, but I, it, that's down to it. I, I personally find it a bit stiff, but I'll, I'll discuss uh, a bit more of that later. And of course, um, upgrading the bits will cost money as well as the right parts. And getting the money is the grind. That is the grindy part of the game. I mean, you can sell anything, even wep even the weapons that you craft. You can sell in your shop. You know, you set um, which and how many items to display and then price them however you want. But, like in real life, if your items are too expensive, the customers will just not buy them, turn tail and leave. So it's all trial and error, really. You have to see what you can get away with charging. You also have to watch out for shoplifters, too, as they will try and steal your shizzle. Once you start upgrading your shop, you'll be able to display more items and have a special discount bin. You can offer better discounts and so on and so forth. There is a shop where you can buy and craft potions and other items. There's also a shop where you can buy specific parts for a larger price, of course, that you can use with crafting. Now, the large prices is one of the two gripes I do have with the game. Moonlighter is awesome, fun and addictive, yes, but there are a couple of gizmos that do miff me a little. Uh, the first is that weapons and upgrades uh, to said weapons and to your uh, own shop are so damn expensive. Like, super expensive. You've got to do some serious grinding to get some money for that. And then the second, like I mentioned earlier, is the combat can feel a little stiff. Um, just a little, I don't know, harder than it needs to be. It's not really free-flowing, but... Those are the only two gripes I have. Everything else I absolutely love. Everything from the art style, the gameplay loop, the five different dungeons, and the lore and story found within the game makes for a great time. Just, like I said, be prepared for a lot of grinding for that cheddar and some brutal-ass combat. As Also, the enemies can take you out faster than a whippet with a bum full of dynamite just with a tap. So make sure you stock up on potions and make use of the health pools that will appear randomly in the randomly generated dungeons. They will replenish your health, but don't rely on them as they will run dry if you use them too much. Moonlighter is another solid roguelike action game and well worth picking up on the console of your choice, or it's free on Game Pass. I picked it up on the Switch ages ago and I find the Switch is ideal to play it with as, you know, you can even play it on the toilet. So. Winner, winner. Uh, the footage I'm recording here is from the Xbox Series S. I just started up a new game to record some footage uh, because obviously it's free on the Game Pass. Um, but like with all the games I review, um, I have played I have played a lot of it and I've beaten the fifth dungeon on my Switch copy of the game. I just can't at this present moment in time capture footage from my Switch, but next year I will be able to do that. But Moonlighter gets a solid 9 out of 10. It's a really good roguelike action, uh, like little, you know, little it's like RPG elements in it. But like I said, there's a bit of heavy grind, um, but it's so unique because you get to run your own shop, which is really, really cool. But thank you very much for watching this review and until next time.